Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. We are currently out in London, where I'll be performing at Ministry of Sound tonight. Good to be back. And this week, I have a super special vlog for you. It's a vlog on how I vlog. I am ready to get close to you, saying hi. So you'll see all these kind of tips and tricks I learned over the last one and a half years of vlogging. Some really cool stuff that might help you out as well if you're starting with vlogging right now. And it might be fun for you to just see the backstage action of where I cut and how I stage stuff. So the clap I always use to sync my audio and video. In this case, I am outside. It's kind of windy. Uh, there's the sound of the city. Outside, I always use my mic. And this way, in my program, I use Final Cut Pro. It's really easy for me to sync. So this is my main camera right here. It's a Sony RX100 Mark V. With this super long tripod over here, I used to actually travel with a, a real tripod, one the photographers use. I stopped doing that because it was really heavy in my hand luggage. After this intro, I walked out into the city to shoot some more footage. This is called B-roll footage. Shooting time lapses is really popular and what you do is to set up your camera and shoot something for about one and a half to two minutes. Then after, when editing, just speed up the clip. It's always good to shoot some b-roll so people see your surroundings and know where you are. I even flew my drone out for a couple of minutes. So usually when I come into a room, it actually looks like this. So I first go in, set up the camera, go out again, and then go in again. But in the cut, this will just seem like a seamless process. And so here's where I film the room for you to get like an impression of where I am. And then it's about time for me to work out with Justin and he brought his wife this weekend. Look at the weights, the weights. What, what weights? <laughs> and so we're out here in the smallest gym ever, Mama Maison, London. What the hell? So the first reaction in a gym like that is to just give up the workout. The fact is, you should just be creative and make the best of it. So we just had an awesome workout and it's time to get some fish and chips in London now. And as you can see, a transitional shot like that from the outside of the hotel is perfect to transition you back into my hotel room. Somehow I really packed out this London schedule and right now I'm going to train with my Kung Fu student, Jordan, who came all the way from Manchester out here to train Kung Fu with me. I will have some really useful lightning tips for you very soon as lighting is super important when working with cameras. Good session out with Jordan. I also love guiding new talent and I always have very high hopes for the people I meet and give a bit of advice. I promise you to give you a little bit of advice when it comes to lighting. Light shining on your face will always look really good. So this for instance looks a lot worse than this. Do you see that? Same for this light hanging on top of here. I'll show you. This looks awesome. This gets tricky. It, uh, it's okay because uh, like the light of the bed is shining on my face, but you always want to keep that in mind when trying to vlog. And so next up is my show at Ministry of Sound. It's been a while that I've been in London and I'm super psyched to play tonight. Here's the handover to Justin, who films all my footage of me DJing. So now we get the typical scene of Justin and I walking into a hotel and now you'll see the backstage footage of it. And that's it right there. And here's your standard shot of the outside. So you can see it is morning.
but I'm actually going to shoot this shot when I get outside, just waking up here, and um, I'm going to pack first, and then I'll be switching my camera to a higher frame rate, because in the travel sections nowadays I like to do a little bit of dialogue in the background. So the higher frame rate is to slow the video down while I speak over it. This will give a little bit more of a dreamier effect. And so here's a nice little area for some dialogue. I have to give a shout out to Headhunters as he inspired me to get into these. Still not able to do a whole one with me just brushing my teeth like he does, but I'm getting more comfortable with them. The content in these sections, I just write down and read up. Speaking them into the camera mic so the quality stays the same the whole vlog. Time to travel out to Scotland now. On paper a short travel, but it felt quite a long day anyway. Had an epic sleep though, and now I'm just trying my best to understand the way the locals speak out here. Just arrived in my hotel. It's getting late a little bit here in Edinburgh. The UK gets very cute with these hotel house type of situations going on. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. It's a big show tonight. It's Don't Let Daddy Know. So I'm excited. The schedule is really tight though. I'm about to be picked up in one and a half hour. Just in time to do another Kung Fu session with Jordan. And after that, I will tell you something about writing a script when you're vlogging. Currently teaching Kung Fu out in a car park. Still got it. Oh. The light, that should be better. <laughs> so still got a great training out, but right now it's just a half hour before my pickup. Gotta get ready for the show. After my show, I'll tell you more about scripting when you're vlogging. best out of this hotel room situation. This is not really a recording studio like this, right? I promised you I was going to talk about scripting and it has been essential in my vlogging. So every week I choose a concept about what to vlog about. Globally I will know my schedule for my itinerary that I get for my tours. And so then I'll just make a note, come into the hotel room, talk about this. Film workout after talk about this. Grab some footage of the hotel entry. And with this in mind, I can easily structure vlogs to get a message across and um, create like a, a storyline from front to back. Because the thing is, you're making films, so why not have a script for it, right? So now you know how I vlog and I'm actually excited to show you how I edit as well. Would you be interested? Leave it in the comments and I'll have a look. So I am switching to Denon CDJs. Next week will be the vlog about me explaining why the players are so good. If you're curious to see that, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you back here next week. Until then, L's up, brave safely, and salute. Oh boy, I was on my knees the whole time, crazy.